common question I get asked in my sport medicine practice is, what is the difference between PRP, platelet-rich plasma, and hyaluronic acid? In this video, I'm gonna break them down for you, and at the end of the video, I will tell you my preferred injection. For those who don't know me, my name is Dr. Sonam, and I'm an interventional sport medicine doctor located up here in Canada. Now, if you're interested in all my videos and you find them really helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like, comment, and subscribe so that this information can be shared with a wide variety of individuals. Now, let's get into discussing the differences between hyaluronic acid and PRP. Number one, what are they made from? So hyaluronic acid, also known as HA, viscose or viscose supplementation, is a form of a synthetic hyaluronic acid. Now, for those who don't know, hyaluronic acid exists in our body innately. It's in our hair, in our skin, in our nails, and you can take this stuff as a supplement. So essentially think of it as a uh, synthetic supplement that we will use and inject into joints. PRP stands for platelet-rich plasma and is created and made from your own blood. So we essentially take your blood, we spin it down, and we inject a concentrated growth factor portion into either a tendon, a joint, whatever we're treating. Number two, what can these injections be used for? So hyaluronic acid is mainly used in joints for joint issues. Think about meniscus tears, osteoarthritis, some cartilage degradation, and other specific joint pathologies. PRP, on the other hand, can be used for both joint concerns, but also tendon concerns. So think ligament tears, rotator cuff tendon tears, tennis elbows, and so forth. So the use of PRP is a little bit more wide than the use of hyaluronic acid. Number three, mechanism of action. So how do these injections work? Hyaluronic acid works specifically in joints by providing a lubricating surface and then also stimulating healthy joint fluid. Now, for those of you who don't know, joints don't have any blood supply at baseline and blood supply is how you get nutrients to a specific part in the body. So the only way a joint can get some nutrients is through healthy joint fluid. So what the HA product does is it goes in and stimulates healthy joint fluid, which stimulates better nutrients for the cartilage, thereby decreasing pain, while also providing a lubricating surface. I essentially akin a hyaluronic acid injection in a joint much like a supplement injection in the joint, because that's truly how it works. Now, with PRP in particular, it works a little bit differently, whether it's for tendon or joint. So specifically with joint, what PRP is, is well, first off, we take your blood, we spin it down, and we inject the platelet-rich plasma portion, which is rich with growth factors, back into the joint. And what that does is it creates a healthy joint environment, which we just learned is really good to the cartilage. It decreases cartilage breakdown and upregulates anti-inflammatory mediator. So there's less inflammation in the joint, which thereby also causes less pain. And things like meniscus tears and labral tears, sometimes it can help scar it in, but I am very careful to tell people that PRP still cannot fully regenerate cartilage or we'd be using it all the time. Now, particularly in tendons, the way that PRP works is I take the same product, but I needle it into the tendon or ligament that's damaged. And what I'm doing is while I'm needling it, I'm causing some micro trauma to the area and also injecting the PRP into the area. And it causes a lot of inflammation at this point in time that tells the body to signal, hey, come here and help me heal this spot. Number four, how long does it take for these injections to start working? So this is a very important distinction because the differences actually are quite big between the two. Hyaluronic acid injections will particularly start working between the four to six week mark. Now with PRP injections, I warn everybody that it can take up to 12 weeks to truly see the benefit because we're, work we're working more on a regenerative capacity. The benefits can start anywhere from four weeks onwards, but I do recommend people wait at least three months before they say whether or not that injection really did anything for them. Number five, aftercare instructions and pain after the injection. So I've done aftercare videos on what to do after your PRP injection and what to do after your hyaluronic acid injection on my channel, and I'm gonna link them up above and I encourage you to take a look at them. When it comes to pain following the injection, there is one very important differentiator, and it's the fact that I cannot freeze the site I am treating when I do PRP. And the reason why is freezing negatively affects PRP and it's not good to be mixing, so I cannot do that. What that means is when you come in for a hyaluronic acid injection, you're nice, comfortable, and frozen when you leave, and when the freezing comes out, you're a bit sore and icky for a few days. I recommend that you take Tylenol and Advil. When it comes to PRP injections, the joints can be a little bit sore and achy immediately after the injection because I can't freeze them. And I usually recommend people take Tylenol for the first week, but usually joints aren't too painful from a PRP perspective. Where it's a little bit more different 
is when I'm treating tendon or ligament. So with tendons and ligaments, I'm causing a lot of microtrauma and a lot of inflammation to the area with PRP. And I warn all of my patients who get treated with PRP in a tendon or ligament that pain will considerably go up for a few days following the injection. And I actually give them an extra pain uh, prescription so that they can take it for a few days after the injection to help alleviate those symptoms. Number six, how long do these injections work? So this is another key differentiating feature. And let's talk first about a joint injection. So with joints, hyaluronic acid injections can work anywhere from six to 12 months before you need to repeat the injection for that joint issue. Now with PRP injection into joints, they can work anywhere from one to two years, depending on the type of PRP you're doing. Usually with both of these injections, you are repeating the injections in a joint because neither of them can reverse the effects of osteoarthritis or degenerative meniscus tear. So there is a very high likelihood that these injections will be repeated. Now, particularly when it comes to tendon and ligament issues with PRP, some of these injections are curative and they deal with the problem indefinitely because we're asking the body to heal some damaged tissue. So it's not uncommon for people to receive either one to two treatments and not need any other treatments afterwards when I PRP a tendon or a ligament. So many people ask, Doc, which injection would you prefer, would you get? And if I had the choice between the two, I would start with the PRP injection, mainly because it's a natural, a more natural approach to things. And it can also tackle the joint or tendon issue from a multifaceted approach. And then usually I say, let's try this first. And if this doesn't work for a joint, for example, then we have other options like hyaluronic acid or cortisone to move on to. But I like to start with the more regenerative process first and then move on afterwards. So that wraps up the difference between hyaluronic acid and PRP injections. If you have any questions for me, leave them down below. For now, that's all.